Alright, so this is going to be a quick little video on how to install the guest editions for VirtualBox, the closed source one. And uh, I'm going to start VirtualBox, of course, and um, it should boot into Windows right away. And what guest editions do actually will allow you to resize the screen just like a, as if it was a window. You know what I mean? Like if I were to do this right now, you'll see what I'm talking about. See how like this, uh, the window is like a little 4x3, right? And if you want to make it bigger, by resizing the window, the window gets bigger, but the, the you know the OS itself self stays the same, right? And um, so let me go ahead and restart the system. But before I do that, go up here to the top, go to machine. It should say, where's it at? Devices, install guest editions. So click on that, and this is gonna load the. Uh, I guess like the virtual disk of the 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 driver for uh, for the virtual box, but you can't install it under the regular uh, window mode. I guess the the user mode. You have to go into safe mode. So I'm going to, have to do that right now. So let me cancel this. Yes. All right. Restart. Turn off computer. Click restart, and as it's restarting, tap F8. There it goes. Go up to the top. Safe mode. Microsoft Windows. It's loading the drivers. <clears throat> then log into your administrator account. Right here you go. Give your password. Yes. Go to your start menu. Let's see uh, where's that? Computer, here it is, VirtualBox add-ons. Right-click, autoplay, next, next, uh, install, yeah, sure, 3D support, we'll try that. Next, and there it goes. Reboot, yes. All right, so now it's going to reboot back into a... Uh, Windows XP, but not the, you know, not the safe mode, of course, into your standard user account. And before, like I was saying, if you click your mouse inside of a virtual box, you have to press right control to, to retrieve it. With the guest editions, that, that, that goes away. So you can, you can freely move your mouse in and out if you wanted to, right? So I can click right here and I can just move my mouse out. Go back in, click again. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, let's see, you can. I should be able to resize it just fine. There it goes. I don't know if you notice that or not. Uh, there's a full screen mode. I think it's. I'm not too sure what the what the hotkey is for that. Host F. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have a right control, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it anyways. Switch. Okay, so now I'm in full screen mode. I don't know if the, this Kazam is capturing this or not, but hopefully it does. So now it's in full screen. There we go. You know, everything works just fine. You can right click on the desktop. All right. Um, to get out of it, right here is like a little mini dock. Here it is, machine, devices, whatever. Uh, let's bring it back to a window. There we go, now it's in a, a window mode, I guess. There we go. Let me uh, resize it if I can, hopefully. There we go. And I want to see if, if this actually, the seamless mode actually works with the Unity. Let's see, where is it at? Uh oh, there's a bug already. There's no menus. Let me try this one more time. Nope. Well, that sucks. Let me uh, restart it, I guess. All right. There we go.
come on. Let's see, there we go. Here's the menus. Seamless, seamless. Full there it is. Switch to theme, seamless. Host and home, right control. I don't know if, you can, if the screen recorder is capturing this, but see how the uh, the Windows taskbar is now at the bottom. See what I mean? Let me see if I can actually uh, open up a program like the Documents and there's Windows Documents. I mean the uh, Windows Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer. See if that works. There it goes. Resize this. There's Unity Docs, so that works too. So that's pretty cool. So you kind of get the idea how useful it can, it can, you can, you know, how it could be with a VirtualBox running, you know, inside of Ubuntu. So, anyways, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a USB support along with uh, sharing a folder with your system. Okay, so I'll be, I'll do that video in, a, in not a real soon, within the next day or so. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.